Hello guys, this is Alex, the Grumpy Mechanic again, and I've decided to make, uh, I've just made a video about the dashboard lights and all that, that I've sorted, but I just decided to make a quick video on how to remove the dashboard, a lot of people struggling with it, so, the first thing you have to do is take this off, all you need is just a plastic tool that gets under it and just pull it, it's just little clips, it comes out, it will be the same, it will be exactly the same on that one there, on top of the dashboard, just get plastic tool under it, it will come out. Then you're going to have to remove this top cover from there. And that, all you need to do is just get under it. I just got my finger under there and just pulled it with just the plastic clips. They come up quite easily. Then you're going to have one screw there, one there, and one there. And you're gonna have three there. You'll see them quite easily. Then there's gonna be another three screws screws on that air vent. I'll show you from top. It's gonna be one there, one there, and another one in the end, right in the end. And then you're gonna have one screw on each side. There, it's a plastic screw. There's going to be one on this side, one on the other side, so it's quite easy. But to remove the complete thing, you're going to need to take that off. This plastic cover. you got built-in speaker into that, but to remove it, it's quite easy. You have to get the screwdriver behind this rubber seal, drop it down just a bit. And then that's going to be on there. And all you need to do is get a tool behind this and press that in it starts coming out all the rest is just clips so as soon as you press that in the whole thing comes out and then in the end you just need to pull it out just wiggle it a bit it will come out same thing on the other side because that will help to move it but i've discovered that you don't really need to take the other side off because all you need to do is get this bit off once you take the screws out this bit you just lever it a bit and pull the dash out you'll get just enough space to get the dashboard out if you just lift it up there's going to be two plugs on the back there they're easy to disconnect um, and you can lift this side and get the dashboard in position that one to take it all out as soon as you disconnect it and that's the easiest way to do it guys so I hope this is helpful. If you've got any questions, just ask me. Comment below. Subscribe and like my videos. And I can help you out. I do loads of them. So any problems, just let me know, please.